Hi, thank you for joining us. I'm at the WRCA Finals Rodeo in Amarillo, Texas, and I just happened to run into Sue Cunningham, and she is a national championship chuck wagon competitor, and not just once, but several times. Tenth time this year. That is amazing. Now, can you explain to folks a little bit how some of these competitions are run and organized? Well, uh, different places have cook-offs, and some of them have the same ones every year. And then there's always others wanting to get started and all. And so you got a different amount of wagons at, at different cook-offs and different judges. And so we've been competing for some time, and so we like still doing that. About how many years have you been competing? Uh, about 30 years. <laughs> oh, my. And that's a lot of work. Well, let's see, it was uh, 1989 was our very first one. So, Generally, how many people do you have to cook for during these competitions? Usually around 50 people. 50, sometimes 60, but most of the time around 50. And generally, how many people are on your cooking team? Usually four. And you make everything from scratch, uh, provided to you generally by the uh, organization that is holding the competition, correct? Right. Uh, they furnish the food and everybody cooks the same thing, so you got the same chances to win, you know. Um, about how many competitions do you participate in per year? Well, when we first started out, it would be like maybe eight or nine, and now... The last two years, we've only done three. My sister um, passed away in 2015, and she and I got inducted in the Calgary Hall of Fame in, in 2014. And then this last year, my husband passed away. So, so my, my daughter and uh, is Peggy, Peggy Pippin, and, and uh, Jean's grandson is Wade Cates, and then Karen Purnell is a second cousin of mine and she lives in Lubbock, so. Now I understand that Wade has actually gone through culinary school and has uh, been recognized for his cooking ability, is that correct? Well, yeah, he has, but he didn't stay with the culinary, you know, he just, he'd rather cook on chuck wagon, I think, but he does, he helps with catering in different places and all. I see, and has he contributed anything to the, uh, and uh, some of the secret ingredients that might go into uh, some of the foods that are cooked at these competitions? Well, uh, my sister taught him how to do it. It was her grandson, and she taught him how to do the burial, so that, that's helped a lot. So. Yes, and you mentioned that your husband and your sister have passed away, uh, and that's been rather recent. Do you foresee some of the younger members of the family, such as Wade, taking over? Well, they'd like to in time if, you know, if everything works out, but, and see, my daughter helps with it, too. She's helped all these years with us, so. All right. Well, I was at the 2017 National Championship Chuck Wagon Cook-Off in Lubbock, Texas this year, and I did concentrate on the C4B Chuck Wagon, and, but, uh, and, but you were part of that whole competition, and I was able to capture a little bit of uh, Wade preparing some foods, and I believe that you were in there. And especially at the very end, as you won that national championship. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Sue, for coming by and speaking with me. Well, thank you much. I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.